Hello everyone. Uh, tell them where we are. Tell them where we are. So, Easy, yeah, and then and then you'd follow us going into the rehearsal studio, the run up to the record coming out, <laughs> and and putting it out. And you'd feel comfortable with this but for that too. period. You'd have a camera in your face the whole time. <laughs> all, all my point is, and my point to Jim on the phone the other day is that I just don't. If we are going to put out a DVD at any point, I just don't want it to be lame. I I actually don't think we will put a DVD out because I don't think stop filming. I don't think they're selling very well across all the formats. But but there's <laughs> That's the end it's of that bit. <laughs> 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 we should probably do uh, where we are, what's going on. All that stuff. Yeah. I think from the start we approached um, making this record very differently just because we actually set out to make it on our own. and um, So just right from the outset that's really different because we've always had a producer before. Um, but we'd while we were touring um, with, with Tourist, we, we all just spoke about how we wanted to build our own studio and, and if possible, make a record ourselves. And so, it's that thing where um, we've always had a little space, haven't we? Yeah. Like the place that we had before where the previous two records, we could kind of do a, a kind of small kind of demos, which would be the beginning stages of you know, a record, but we'd always go to a bigger studio somewhere, you know, super posh, that cost loads of money. And, and that's kind of like away again, and um, to kind of finish it off. But this time, we've done it all kind of just loose around the corner from here we are, like where we are now. It's just around the corner from where we live, and it's, it's just yeah. meant the whole thing's just been a much more kind of homely, homely experience, really. All right then, it's yeah, and it's photos day tomorrow, is it? Or is that t today? So. Uh, Exciting. Can't hear it. You can't have, hear a, it have a listen through the microphone to see what just tell me what sounds good. Was shit. <laughs> a, a good friend of ours who um, used to be in a band called Weevil, who um, who supported us on a tour, uh, tour quite a while ago, but he's kind of been friends of ours for years and years. Who kind of came and came in and kind of sat in on because we really kind of respect his kind of you know his music and where he's coming from. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new singing home. Can't really see. What's this song called? This is Tokyo. This is good.
unbelievable. Yeah, the, the recording process for them has always been a little bit fractured. Like, they'll go in, they've always tried to get everything ready, then put them in the studio, yeah. and then you record the songs, come out, and, and release it. But it's never really worked like that. It's always kind of, they'll go in, they'll record a bunch of songs, and then they'll come out of the studio, and while they're out, those two or three weeks later, they'll write, like, even better songs. So you go, oh, right, okay, we should probably go back here. So each session has kind of been a bit sort of elongated, I suppose. And, uh, and this record was different because they just basically were there for as long as they wanted to be. And it gave them the time to sort of play through stuff and be a bit more thorough with it. And as a result, I think it's a much stronger record because of that. Because it's a lot more focused, you know. It's, and this process, it's worked brilliantly. I mean, I was shitting my pants about whether <laughs> this was going to work. You know, I used to manage record producers as well, so I kind of know a little bit about that. And yeah. um, so I was, yeah, I was very nervous. But yeah, I mean, I've had producer managers come up to me and tell me that if uh, if more bands start producing records to this standard, they're all out of a job. We went up to New York. Um, for a couple of weeks with this guy called Ben Allen who's, um, who's mixed, uh, well he's well known for mixing Miles Barkley um, and uh, spent quite a few years and included his studio, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but, I mean we went, we, we really liked um, a mix we got back from him, we sent out at this song called The Outsiders to, to a bunch of people and he basically won this mix off. I'm gonna have you sit. I think I'm gonna have you sit right here for, for just just sit here like this, and I'm gonna shoot a couple of volumes and show you this. Oh, okay. Steve, just blowing on Joel's neck. Just you know, give me a little. Little thing. See, that's how much love there is in this band, though. Look at that. You know, it's beautiful. Ooh. That's a good one, look. He's picked that one because we're not in it. <laughs> <laughs> Some headlights passing by. 